Hey, it's that time again. Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading here on this beautiful hot Sunday afternoon, April the 25th of 2021. As usual, I'm going to go over the energies of some Tarot de Marseille tarot cards that I drew for our upcoming week, and then we'll take a look at a little bit of astrology. And as always, it will be interesting, so please stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marseille Trump cards are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew at random for this upcoming week are the Empress, Death, and the Star. Ah, I got the message pretty quickly looking at this. The Empress is looking towards the right at the figure of death as he marches along with his scythe clearing it appears to be chopping dicing perhaps discarding she is sitting passively he is moving actively she is ruling so she's initiating the action of the death figure she's saying yes go forth and chop go forth and dispose get rid of make it go away. Now these things that we make go away could be things like poverty, fears, lack of love, anything that we want to dispel, ill health, anything we want to dispel, this will be a good week to do so. As we do that, we're going to find that we are purified as the Lady of the Star is. She is pouring out her waters, stripped naked, pouring out the chalices into the earth with stars above her, which we could say perhaps signifies inspiration coming from above. So as we clear, we get strong in doing this. As the death figure is strong, then we find we have that clearing and that purification. And this is going to dovetail perfectly with the astrology as we're going to see. This week we're going to have a full moon. Yes, tomorrow night on the 26th, we are going to have a full moon in Scorpio. And this will be a super moon. It's going to be extra big in appearance, 30% bigger than normal. Full moons are good for banishing, getting rid of stuff, psychic exploration, because it is a lot of lunar power. But the days that follow this, the next couple of weeks, will be a time to banish, to dispel, to get rid of things that we don't want to have in our lives. So this whole reading coalesces very nicely around the notion of banishing and purification. Other than that, the astrology is not particularly exciting. We're the same as last week with uh, Venus being very strong in a sign of rulership, which is Taurus. Uh, Saturn is doing strong and good in Aquarius. Uh, other than that, there's nothing extraordinary out there happening. I didn't see any really great correlations with the day rulers, the planets that rules the days, and aspects with the moon. Uh, except for Thursday now, we're going to have the moon in a sextile aspect to Jupiter. This is a nice beneficial aspect if you want to banish financial problems or blockages to employment. On that day, uh, this Thursday coming up, that would be a good day to do it. Otherwise, overall... A great week for getting rid of things. Okay, well listen, thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate your support. I really do. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.